Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be rendering some lard. Well, he's mostly going to be doing that. That's kind of his project. Because it's only like 9 degrees outside. So we're doing that to help keep the house warm today. Um, and we'll go check on goats later. cement tank called a cistern under the ground. It has a pipe, which is currently covered up, that when it's full, it runs off, and then we come shut the well off. So, the fat he's rendering today is waste from our hog this year most people would just throw away but we keep it to cook with um, I make pie crust with it potatoes are really good fried in it my favorite is green beans with garlic or we fry our chicken in it that's our probably most popular thing so he's been videoing that process we're doing about 10 pounds, I think is what I had saved. And then we put it into mason jars, and I think he showed you an example of some that I did a couple years ago. And I did enough that year that I didn't have to do any last year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy and learn something from the process of us rendering lard and we'll see how some of our fat mamas are doing down there with this cold later. Even my snow dog came inside, it's so cold out. Okay, you start with one of these. Pig. And you butcher it. And you get lard. This is just kind of a throwaway, but we keep it. Bits of meat in there, and then we render it down and we make our own lard to fry with. Last year's 2019, this is the last paper. Then we just run that right through the grinder when we're butchering. If you guys want to see that process, just go ahead and comment. Maybe next year we'll. Remember that and try to get it on video. We're just going to render it down. Been at it for a little bit here, but I need to stir it. So it's easier just to run it through the grinder. And it's got little pieces when you're done. And then we just kind of... I don't know, we run it through the grinder and it's smaller pieces to render it out a lot faster, easier than trying to cut it up with a knife. And then we just render it down into a liquid form. You know, we take all the meat pieces out, try to just keep just the fine liquids. Then you pour it into a jar. And then after it gets cold, it'll turn white, hard, kind of pasty. And then you just use it to fry with instead of having to buy this all the time. You can use lard. Essentially, it's just throwaway stuff, so why not try to utilize it a little more, save yourself a little money? It all starts in pig. So I'm going to cut this up into little pieces because it's froze so I can add it to the pot here and that way it kind of renders a little faster, speed up the process. I'm just going to cut it into the smaller pieces that I can. Took me a little bit. 
but I got it cut. Still pretty froze. Just cut it into smaller pieces so I can put it in there. I gotta cut this up yet. Put it in there and get to render it. So before he has all of this done and separated, I'm gonna run all this through the dishwasher to sterilize it. And I'm just using old lids that I've used for other stuff I've canned to them and not have to buy new and I don't wanna waste new ones that haven't sealed yet. So we'll get those ran through the dishwasher and sterilized and hopefully we'll get some crackling soon for a sandwich. It's looking pretty good. Starting to get separated. All those yummy meat chunks for a good crackling sandwich with a slice of tomato. Mm. It beats a BLT any day. I'm gonna start straining some of it off. And then he just ladles it into a jar. Keep letting it break down until everything gets smaller and smaller and then get the pieces of meat out. Getting some more strained off. We've got one full jar here. And we're not straining it. Um, if you strain it, you wouldn't have these little bits in the bottom. Because we usually just use it for frying. Um, if you're going to use it for a lot of desserts, fruit pies, then it can have kind of a bacony aftertaste, but it's still really good for chicken pot pies. It's pretty good for apple pie, but we typically just use it for frying chicken and vegetables. Okay, so I think it's mostly cooked down. So I'm gonna put what we have of the cracklings on a, the pan over there with tin foil and bake it for a little while and then strain the rest of it into this bowl and put those cracklings on the pan and then put the oil in the rest of the jar. So this is all the meat that I'm going to put in the oven so it gets a little crispier. And we got four large jars, a little bit left there. Beans and garlic going. Lard from a couple years ago. about two tablespoons of lard, two cloves of garlic, and I'll probably do a couple handfuls of beans. Yum. Here's product, ready for the freezer. Alright, the oil's running over. Gotta go shut that off. It's a whopping 8 degrees out here. Got the lard done. Waiting for that to set so we can put it in the freezer. Gotta go check goats. Urgh. Barely even thought a spot in the snow. There's a runoff. 
pipe that comes out of there. You can usually see it from the house. So a few weeks ago, I got a new DJI to play with to do videos with my phone, make YouTube an easier. brand suggested by Cole Sunny from Sunny Farms. If you've never watched his channel, you should subscribe. Him and his dad are pretty funny. Even my four-year-old likes them. Sunny Farms is her favorite. So some of my videos might be a little wonky because I'm still practicing We'll get back to you with the goats. Careful, Tony, it's kind of slippery. Crazy cool. I know. <laughs> Oh, hi, Josie. I'll show you too how big some bags are getting. Well, turn around, Jos. I guess we won't look at hers yet. Until Stella's getting ready. She thinks she's going to be the first one to kid. She hasn't quite dropped yet. And her tendons still feel pretty tight. Where's Greta at? I think she's the next one on the list. Hey Greta girl. Everybody get in here at once. You can't get out. Mm -hmm. Greta's bagging good. Bree's starting to bag. Who else was that? Oh yeah, Josie. Josie's starting to bag on me.
Lunch bucket's being a bully. I gotta show you a surprise. Miss Wren gave us a surprise. We got two little ones in there. There's a black one and then a spotted one like her. I don't wanna mess with them too much. It's too cold. Way too cold. We had just put in tundra in there because we didn't know if russet was any good. And the next day there was hair everywhere like she was getting ready to have babies. So we took tundra back out. And the next day there were babies. Let's open up both hatches. Make dad move a little bit. They're almost as big as mom already. Splitting up a square bill for him in here. It's shrimp, right? That's chicken. Oh yeah. I get it. there you go. Surprise. Shrimp is the dark brown one. Oh nice. Yep. Give him a little more bedding. That's my niece, by the way. Hello. She's out here for the weekend. Our six months old, six month olds aren't very small anymore. Hi, Willow. So, our eight degree day, we did some lard. Had to turn the well on, so we had plenty of water for the week fill up that cistern and came down to see the goats well my mamas are doing good give them more bedding for these cold nights it's gonna be a cold week too I think everything in the below 20 I believe maybe not even the teens I'm getting swamped because I'm right by the hay uh, I hope you enjoyed the video 
And I hope you learned something from us doing lard. It saves us a lot of money, I'd like to think anyway. And it's better for you than Crisco and stuff like that. There's no preservatives in it. And if you have any questions, comment below, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. You know it's cold when the dog wants back in. Need to go back in the garage, baby.